General Chauhan, uh, Randy Howard just said that this war in Ukraine uh, is, is giving the world a blueprint for future wars. Uh, and I'm sure India has been uh, watching the developments closely. Uh, how have these events made you, and if they've made you, reconsider India's defense priorities and preparedness? Uh, uh, you can look at any conflict with a number of uh, perspectives and viewpoints, you know. So you can have a perspective from a political point of view, uh, probably from an economic point of view or a diplomatic point of view. But uh, as an army officer and as a CDS, I see this war from the point of view of military practitioner, actually. So we are looking at, you know, uh, what kind of lessons uh, from this particular war are applicable in the Indian context. Obviously, our situations are entirely different. So we look at that. While we even look at that, we also like to see, uh, we also understand that, you know, the, there are no universally acceptable kind of lessons from this particular war. So, and in this particular war, you find a lot of, it's a different kind of a war. Earlier, we all assumed that future wars are going to be short, swift, and fast. <coughs> And, but this is a very longish kind of a war which we are seeing. Uh, and it has created many, many kind of contradictions actually. Say earlier when we thought that, you know, uh, we thought about dispersion and demassification was one. And now, you know, over here, uh, what we are seeing right now with the stage in which the war has entered, we find concentrated kind of attacks. <laughs> we found, you know, equipment which we thought was means of offensive operations, etc. That whole paradigm is uh, getting changed. Uh, so, there are a number of uh, lessons, actually, which uh, we could uh, take from this particular war. But then, as, uh, as far as we are concerned, we got to see that how these lessons actually are applicable for the Indian Armed Forces and what lessons we should take from this. If you ask me, uh, some of the lessons could be from this particular war would be uh, that uh, we get to be self-reliant, actually. That's the biggest lesson, actually, for us. So, we can't be dependent on uh, uh, supplies of our weapon systems, etc from outside. That's the one big lesson that uh, we take from uh, this particular conflict. You think it's become a war of attrition now? Yes, of course. Uh, you know, if you look at what's happening right now, is we have uh, entered into a stage where the front lines are hardly moving. And today and yesterday, Bakhmut, if you see, uh, even a three kilometer advance is being claimed by success uh, by the Russians, uh, by the same army which uh, prided itself into a deep battle kind of a concept of what the Americans called as air land battle sometime back, in which uh, synchronization and, you know, simultaneity was of uh, essence, actually. And, you know, you could, non-linearity was there. You could attack targets much in depth, right from the front, middle, and rear areas. But now we got stuck into a kind of warfare, which is uh, reminiscence of what you could say was uh, First World War, a trench kind of warfare. That's what we are actually uh, stagnated into. This all has its own different kind of uh, lessons.